Kevin, and we got the West Coast Connect over here. Problem, bad luck, you guys. Yes, yes. Welcome to Hot 97, man. Thanks for having us. Of course. Okay, so now, just for people to understand Problem, you know, give us a little background on bad luck, because we've heard, you know, your verse on, like, what? But just a little bit more. The best <laughs> rapper in the world. It's a poet. He's out of Watts, California. He means what he says, and he says it with passion. It's mm. a lot of passion in his voice when he speaks. And he's here. Mm. He's here to let everybody know why he was put on this earth. This is a good friend right now. Nah, I'm just giving you the real I spill. like it. Like, okay, man. so now, Bad Luck, how, if, for those who don't know Maybe Problem, how would you describe Problem? Prob is a one-stop shop to anything music. Mm. He, um, what I always try to tell people, he records himself, he mixes his own records, he sings, he raps, he writes the songs, he writes R&B songs. Like, you put him in a studio with nobody, and he'll come out with a whole full album done, ready to go to the world. Like, straight like that. Like So musically, like it's not a lot of people doing that. It's very rare. Yeah. So speaking of producing, problems, so you produced your new song as well, Take It Slow? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that. explain that just so people understand you actually created the whole not just oh i got on it someone sent me the beat you nah, made the beat nah yeah yeah um i've always liked the uh, ordinary people record mm -hmm. by john legend and Actually, um, my little boo mama was playing it for me. She's like, "You should boo flip, mama. you should flip this, you should do something to it." So I'm like, "Okay." Yeah. So went to the studio, chopped it up to sample, added the things I needed to add to it to make it do what the prop does. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Went to the booth, turned the screens around, and just spoke from the heart, man. It was a crazy record. Came out dope. I love it. Did you get John Legend's like blessing for ordinary people? No. It's all good. He Look, was, John, uh, we love you. We got was, love. He was two studios. The crazy thing, he was two studios down. <gasps> That's <laughs> weird. Yeah, he was actually two studios down from me. Oh, it's okay. He'll be fine. Yeah, it's, it's, right. it's, it's hey, love. Man. Hey, come holler at me, bro. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> it's, right. it's love. So right now. Yeah, Um. Uh. actually, the product the product that I'm here to promote yeah. is Bad Luck's Next Project. It's called it. Breathe. It comes out November 10th. It's a the perfect clash of a West Coast G shit. Yeah. with boom bap hip hop. Okay. Um, it's a collaboratory effort with a producer named Amp out of Knife Wonders Camp. Nice. So expect a lot more of Diamond Lane and Jamla. We got a lot of shit coming, but that's why we're here. That's the project we've been working on. This man is going crazy right now. And then I'm coming with my album after that. Okay, so right now, Bad Luck, that's the movement right now. One MC, one producer. Yeah. I like that aesthetic of it too because that's kind of like a lost thing. You know, when you had that consistent sound on the album, it's that marriage, that perfect marriage. Yeah. You know, like, you know, you got all kind of producers on your album. The album just kind of jumping all over the place. Right. But you got, this, I got this one consistent sound and this consistent voice that people can just sit back and ride to. And that's coming out November? November 10th. Okay. It's called Breathe, the EP. So where can people, let's just say, because they're getting, you know, for a lot of the East Coast fans, they don't really... They don't know too much yet. Right, 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 yeah. And so that's why I'm here. Exactly. How how does someone find you? Is it a Twitter thing? Is it an online thing? Yeah, Twitter, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all same thing. Bad luck three five four. Bad luck with two C's three five four. My album, my EP will be on diamondlanemusicgroup.com and mm -hmm. iTunes. I had to come here first. Yeah. I feel like this the house. I'm a I'm a West Coast nigga to death, but this 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 is where it started. And so the feeling of that, I feel like I'm engulfed in hip hop here. So I, I come back here to because this is where this this is where it's, it's truly real life from the purest form. Yeah. You know. What I mean, so I had to come here and make my presence felt. Which I, I want to ask you about. Being that you guys are from the West, mm -hmm. do you feel that maybe it's harder on you guys when you, you know, are competing in hip-hop? And we're talking about pure form of hip-hop. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you got to prove yourself more for East Coast folks to maybe accept you, to gravitate towards you? Uh, I mean, initially, only up until they hear it. That's it. Uh, uh, after that, it, after that, it should be sold. You know, for any artist, no matter what you're doing. You know, initially, you know, when you hear West Coast, you may have a preconceived notion of what I should sound like, what I should look like, or what kind of song you're gonna hear. But until you hear the music, then after all that changes. So problem. I feel like you know you haven't been out there in a while. You've mm. been kind of real low key. Yes. So when like what since that came out, mm -hmm. did you actually have a chance to talk to Master P? Like how he felt about your version of actually like sampling it and him? Yeah, I had him on a remix. How did he initially feel when he heard your version of like what? Um, he I guess he was riding through LA and he heard it and he contacted people. You know what I'm saying and we met 
up instantly and he showed, told me how much he loved it. I talked to Young Bleed. That's yeah. who song it really is. Mm -hmm. So I talked to Young Bleed and he gave me the blessings, you know what I'm saying? And it was all love, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I ain't gonna lie. We tried to do some some shit. He yeah. <laughs> tried to re-put it out with somebody else on it and say it was his song featuring me. I caught that. But it's all love. I get how this go, man. But guess what? You will never be Diamond Lane Music Group in anything. Remember that. Well, you can always count on problem to always be honest in every interview, right? <laughs> like just in case you thought he wasn't nah, gonna be honest, man. he's it honest. Don't go like that. Let me tell you something, man. I'm just I'm just tired <laughs> yeah. of all these artists that come and then try to act like everything is all gold, honey, and sugar. And I ain't sometimes you gotta defend your gang, sometimes you gotta defend your name. Yeah. And that was one of the times. He tried it and he saw it didn't work and you know, say we was cool after I mean, that. Move on. And that's, that's it. great. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So shout out to him. It was a great record. Like what is still here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah. That was a big record. Oh yeah. Absolutely, yeah. for sure. Yeah. So now, speaking of that, now, what's the situation right now between you and YG? Because we've heard so many conflicting stories, mm -hmm. and maybe you guys don't see eye to eye. Mm -hmm. Maybe you guys are okay now. Where are we at with this? Um, honestly, to tell you the honest to God truth, I don't know where we're at because we haven't spoken. And ever since there was a supposed riff, we, we haven't spoken. It's just been a lot of, you'll see somebody saying something over there. I might say something over here, but... What I do respect about him mm -hmm. is that when we have to do business, all that shit's out the window. I mean, a, little, a lot of people don't know. When we first was on 106 in Park, uh -huh. we had to do function. Mm -hmm. We had a problem then, but you couldn't tell that. So that's why I respect him as a man. We don't get, we don't let this, we're not going to fuck off this business for no petty man. shit. Absolutely. Now, me, personally, I would love to sit down and have a talk with him. We could sit in the room by ourselves and whatever happens, happens. As long as we come out and everything's done, yeah. that's cool because I think the fans want to see us together. We were just, we just on Game Album on 2.5, yeah. and all I keep seeing is dope how y'all together, this, this, and that, you know what I'm saying? So I have no issues with that musically, man. Personally, I have no issues with him. Yeah. I mean, if he has one with me, it ain't nothing but a phone call. Is it just a misunderstanding in what happened? Like, I guess for a lot of people, it was just like, oh, they're not getting along. But, or was did something actually occur, or is it just talking? Do you know what I'm saying? Can you tell us a little bit where this began? The thing that, um, I, I really don't know <laughs> to keep it clean, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do this. I'm, I'm gonna say that it's a lot of other people involved mm -hmm. And he's a very prideful dude. He's from Compton, so I understand it. I'm a very prideful dude. We're going to defend our own. I don't think me and him have anything because we were cool. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. So I don't think it's that. I really think it's just it's a time and a place thing. You know what I'm saying? And exactly. again, we both got in this game and made a lot of money. And yeah. we both, our egos kind of swole up a little bit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I can, I can admit to that on my end. Yeah. So it would have been times that we probably couldn't have talked then. But right now, I feel like, after, especially after him getting shot, he seems like... He would be in a different place. And me, I'm a grown-ass man with six kids, man. I don't got no problems with no other man with over no rap music, especially from my city, man. Exactly. And I will never, I'll never, I don't go to parties and say, don't play his music when I'm there. I don't do none of that whole shit. Yeah. Because no. I'm not, I'm not going to keep no money out of no man's pocket. I just feel like it's a conversation that needs to be had. That's honest. That's solid. You can't get more solid than that. And I wanted to ask you, when you first initially heard that YG got shot, did did everything that maybe the misunderstanding just completely go out the window where you're like, man, I hope he's all right. I just Most definitely, man. I don't want nobody dying yeah. over no man. He, man, dude, we come from a fucked up place. And then to be able to get out yeah. and then help your friends and your family, nah, man, I'm not wishing death on that, man. Absolutely. I'm not wishing death on nobody. It, I was, I hope he was okay. But then I was thinking, I hope that he don't go crazy because he lived through it and then become this wild ass Nigga, yeah, I hope it calms him down, man, because the bullets hurt. Yeah, and everybody, I didn't, I didn't see niggas get shot in the hand and die. So Ooh, you gotta really understand, it, it, it. All that shit don't matter, man. This shit is bigger than that. See, you know what I'm saying? So, when it gets to the point of, and I just have to say this, when it gets to the point of, like, gunplay and stuff like that, we being out here in these streets, man, we take that so serious. So when that happens to anybody, uh, yeah. even somebody you would consider an enemy at some point, sometimes you gotta sit back, like, okay. It ain't that serious. It like, really is. It ain't isn't never that, that serious. It's just like, see, people don't never. They never really explain this. It's like the no snitching thing. Mm -hmm. They never get in depth of why we say don't snitch. It ain't necessarily about this pride thing of not telling like a tattletale. It's about these people have we have walked these halls and been in behind these bars. We know that is no place for no man to be. That's why we say don't snitch. It's not about the pride thing of not being a tattletale. It's like why would you send another man through that kind of hell? 
That's what that's about. So the shooting thing is the same thing. I don't want to condemn nobody that seriously, especially when you do some rap shit. That man had made it out. He probably taking care of his family. Yeah. He's, I don't know if he got a kid or not, but his homies, his girl, or whatever, he's having this business. We don't want to see nobody down and out, especially making it from somewhere like Compton, California, because it's so real out there. Man, we five. Our, our neighborhoods is five minutes from each other. You know what I'm saying? And and again. We we still be in the same spot, so that just shows that it ain't really as deep as everybody's trying to make it. You get what I'm saying? And I'm so happy that you're saying this. Just you know, I'm sure it'll get to YG, and I hope you guys can actually have a conversation because we, we be want to see, you know, especially when it comes to rap in our community, man. We want to see everybody get money together. There's so much money out there that we can all go get. And then even on that, I want yeah. all of California, like you know what I'm saying, yeah. like me and Sue. Did that the, the Bay of LA thing, mm -hmm. man, and that shit, I feel like created a bridge where it's California right. now. It ain't the up top and the north. It's like all of us yeah. need to get everything right and go at the world. Man, Atlanta got a whole lot of underground riffs that nobody know about and you won't because they know the bigger picture is Atlanta. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you know what? I think the last time we saw that unity, like really other than when you and Sue worked together, you know, I would say... Uh, 40 and you working together. But I would say generally we saw that with Pac. Pac was the one who bridged Northern California, yeah. Southern California. He was that one. You heard, you know, Richie Rich, and then you would hear right. LA. Right. You know what I mean? And it's been a while since that's happened, you know? Prob Pac. Yeah. Okay, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Problem. Listen. So I, I was hanging out with my friends, and so I didn't realize this. So you posted a picture. And of a young girl grabbing your hand, and then you deleted it. Oh yeah, y'all delete stuff all the time. I'm grabbing your what? But why? My His hand. hand. It was, I know, my right? hand. Hand. My hand. My hand. I, I Bad know, luck I hand. Hear what the young lady has said. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So why did you delete it? I delete. If you really look at my IG, I delete pictures every two, three days. Do you just go through those? I just need to cleanse my Instagram. No, nah, just it's mine. It's like I, I feel like everybody <laughs> takes that shit so seriously. So I just yeah. fuck with people. I'll wait till they get to the most likes ever and just shoot. <laughs> it's funny to me, it. but it wasn't. It wasn't because of what it was because I wouldn't yeah. have posted it. Nah, you know what I'm saying? We was having fun. You have six kids. Yeah. Damn. See, I that's smile a lot when of I kids. Said that. Yeah, I can't wait to get one of my babies. Listen. So how do you have time? Like, do they just keep you occupied? FaceTime is very, very essential <laughs> yeah. in my life, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, every time I can get, we all get together, we just try to have as much fun as possible, but they definitely understand I am working, but I do, I do shit like, I'll pop up at their school, and they don't, do you? Hell yeah, I oh, might, you're that dad. I might just bring one of them lunch or something, just so they can understand, like, now nah, I'm always, always close, oh, for the I'm good, for the you. good and the bad, but yeah. see, they got a, di it's a different dynamic with me, with me because I'm in the game, yeah. So I have to know what the youth is doing. Right. So I got a Snapchat. I got it. I got all the shit you got. So don't get crazy. You can't. It's like I'm policing you, and yes. you don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? So it's cool. Yep. I know I'm on your all Snapchat. the slang. I know all the new terms. You can't sneak things. Like I snuck past my mom. Like I knew they didn't know shit I was talking about. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's way different right now for me. I love seeing that you're a proud father. Oh, hell we need yeah. to see that more. Hell yeah, man. My kids is everything to me, man. Yeah. Everything. That yeah. is so sweet. I love hearing that. So do you want them to follow in your footsteps or do you want them to, hey, you want to be a doctor, be a lawyer? Or do you, would you be okay with them being a rapper? I want them to be happy, man. You know what I'm saying? Whatever that is to them, I'm not going to block their path. I'm not going to try to control their path either. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that parent. I'm yeah. not going to say, well, you need to do this or you need to do that. They're not at that age where I have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let them just be who they're going to be. Mm -hmm. And if they want to, I'm definitely here to help. Honestly, I want them to wait till they're over 18. Right. Because it's a very grown-up game. It's a lot of grown-up things happening. So I can get those years of teaching them the do's and don'ts and then letting them go and see. Oh. They fucking run around, they move up, dance stuff. You know, Jare goes crazy. It's, <laughs> so, you know, I can't, I cannot stop. I think for sure, two of them, for sure. Yeah. Well, we got four left. So right. So, doctor, lawyer. so hopefully they band up, get a management. One yeah. of them get, uh, become a CEO. Uh, that way they can all watch each other, yeah. kind of how we do, so we can right. stay out of the trouble. You that know is that? so cute. I love I love hearing that. That makes me happy. And you're yeah. there for them, and you show up to their school with lunch. Oh, like, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, you man. know, I think sometimes we forget to talk about those things. Sometimes we get so distracted on talking about just music and all that. But you know what? I love hearing that, especially with the state of everything that's going on right now. And, you know, how do you guys feel about that? Because being, you know, 
where you guys are from and you see all the stuff that's happening on the news and the assaults that are going on this isn't brand new to you guys right right so that's a, that's, that's the problem it's not that brand it's new. not brand new right like the nwa movie comes out and that should look like today <laughs> you right. hear what i'm saying mm -hmm. that, that, that's 27 25 years ago that's yeah. that's sickening yeah it, in, it's in, sick, in a sense and it's sick because i try not to um I try not to get this hopeless feeling right. where, you know, I, okay, I watched some cop kill some, or, or, or most recently the cop dragged a girl out the classroom right. and just treated her like a rag doll. And, and, okay, he gets fired. That's the one guy out of, like, I don't know how many was doing it. And right. that guy has a history of being like that. The right. kids were horrified at that man. You know, so I try not to be hopeless about it. Um, what's sad is, is you start to see it so much, you almost get immune to it. Right. It's like so. As I'm going down my timeline on Instagram, some cop getting shot, or he's beating up some cop and beating up some lady, or whatever. The, something crazy. It's like, oh, it's another thing. I almost don't repost that many. I used to go hard, right. reposting stuff, cursing, f the police, yeah. fuck these. We need to do something. Band up. I like, but I, I noticed that a lot of my yells were um, just kind of misdirected rants right and i'm not trying to send nobody off the edge right just following me because you you fuck with me right. um but and you get frustrated i get so frustrated man even talking about this i even get i get really emotional because these are my people mm -hmm. like these are these are my people man and i'm watching people die and terrible things are happening to people and i can't do anything about it right. there's nothing there's no money you can throw at nobody all these black leaders nothing you can do and it's sick yeah. so it's like do but i don't and i don't want to keep saying that publicly but it's like yo what the fuck yeah like what's up so when you do get people that throw shit, riot, and all that shit like that, and people want to point at them and say, look at them, they act like thugs, and they rioting. We don't know what to do. So this is what you get. You back us in the corner, we just fucking go crazy. That's an honest answer. Yeah, it's a, we don't know what to do, so this is what you get. This is the, the all the misdirection, all the, all, the, all the, the history of bullshit, all the frustration, we lash out and we tear shit up. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I, and I and I and I hate I hate that it 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 has to be like that. But what the fuck? I don't know what to tell nobody. I don't know what to tell my little nephew. I don't know what to tell his daughters. He don't know what to tell his daughter. I don't know what to tell nobody. Yeah, I, don't, I don't I don't want to jail or hell. Look, that I don't. Did that to my I don't baby. have no kids. I, don't, I can't. Yeah. That don't I don't have no kids. I tell my girl straight up like, she wants a baby. And I'm like, yo, I'm literally thinking about not doing it. Yeah. Straight up, straight up because of, I don't know, I don't want my son or daughter to grow up in the world that I'm looking at today. Right. You know what I mean? It's fucked up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm not sure code nothing. I'm not, I, I'm not going to cookie cut shit. It's scary, yo. This yeah. shit's scary as fuck. And I don't know what to do. Right. Like, even with my voice, I try to speak out in raps and cats like Kendrick. Yeah. Try to speak out and say things, but then what? What's like, the next step? What's the next step? We have the Million Man March, justice or else. What the fuck is the else part? Yeah. Not bashing nobody, but justice or else. What is the else part? Because justice is not happening. Mm -hmm. And y'all said or else. What happened? Y'all right. caught a flight. Everybody went home and then back to shit, regular shit. Yeah. And some cop dragged a kid through the classroom. Yeah. And then nothing happened. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And I th and that we need Damn. to hear that. We need to understand, <clears throat> look, we could all turn up. We could have a good time. We get money together. But... These are real issues going on, and we have to address it, and we have to face it. These these are demons that are going to continue to haunt us until we do something together. Sick. What they What they don't want is damn near finna happen. Mm -hmm. Because if if we can shoot at, at each other over the smallest things, at some point we're going to get this click in our head. Right? You know what? Turn it that way. Yeah. And they don't want that. I don't want to see it. Yeah. But I can see it happening. You know what I'm you saying? Say something. I'm I can see it yeah. happening so I'm going to say, say some of the really shit I ever said and never said on air right now. It, it kind of goes against my better judgment. I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. We don't even want that. And the reason why we don't want that, because we're not prepared. Mm -hmm. It's fucked up, yo. Like, like, there's malicious and shit all over the world that is trained for this shit. Kids growing up learning how to shoot rifles and shit, ready for race wars and all kind of things like that. You niggas in the hood ain't ready for none of that shit. Mm -hmm. None of it. I don't care how much game bang you've been doing, all that side shooting bullshit you done learned and picked up. You ain't ready for none of it. You, we really don't want that. 
Nobody that's, really wants that. that. For, no, nobody, yeah. nobody wants that. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is the rate. What he's saying is, it's going to get to a point right. where we just start really our yeah. thugging yeah, revolution, and, absolutely, uh, like some revolution, and, and it's going to be fucked up because that don't necessarily mean it's going to go in our favor. Exactly. That's what I'm, I'm telling yeah, people. That, like, we get mean, to the point where people are not going to care if it goes in our yeah, favor. That's, 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 that's where it's going to get and ugly. That's the scary that's, part. That's, 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 that's the worst exactly. part. That's about the worst this. part of all. You know, yeah. I mean, it might not go in your favor. And I'm, I'm here to tell the real. I, I would love to say, yeah, we get out and and, 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 and we, we all get together. We just. First of all, I wouldn't love to say. Let me just let me yeah. get together and just shoot this shit up. I wouldn't love to say that, but. But <laughs> yeah, no. Like, yeah, don't, yeah. No, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I wouldn't love to say yeah. that, but if that happened, yeah, you know, I don't. It, it, we're not prepared for that, right? You know what I mean? And I wouldn't want nobody just. And, and some people do want that. Some people want us to really get out here and get the thugging because they know we're not I feel prepared. Like we need to start the just stop campaign. Just like, stop. Just stop. Fucking stop. Just stop the but, bullshit, but, 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 but on both sides. Yeah, just it's, stop. That's what because saying. not all cops are bad, and I no. think, right. and I and think, it's not a black. Everybody thinks this is a black cop. It's a black versus a cop. It's not. It's a people versus it's the authority system. thing. But I've system. seen white people get fucked up by the police too. Yeah. I've seen Hispanic people get fucked up by the police yeah, too. Yeah, especially when you're being from is, LA and you yes, see that all the time. Absolutely. Yes. But I will say, and, and I have to say it, that not like this. Nah. Mm -hmm. Like but it's happening to unarmed black U.S. citizens. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that. I've ne We do not supposed to have fucking army tanks and shit on U.S. soil pointed towards people right period shit gonna get deep people gonna start saying shit you ain't supposed to say on camera but i can't let it ride i won't let it sit it's just scary and it's, i don't know what to do so i just talk